Skipada kata bronda skipada. Embreke teka toba selera rabos. Lekete prato skipada katos. Zeke teke 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 te. Embrakatos kote breke tea. In the name of Jesus, restoration by the God of wonders. Restoration in the name of Jesus. And the fortunes of Job were restored to him. The fortunes of Job were restored to him. Declare speed over your life. Lord, give me speed. Give me speed. Give me speed. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Two more prayers. Ah! Calibranda Gatusiata. Esther chapter 6. Esther chapter 6. Something is about to happen to someone. Esther chapter 6 from verse 1. Please give it to us. On that night could not the king sleep. And he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles. And they were read before the king. Verse 2. And it was found written that Mordecai, that Joshua Selman had done something before and had not been rewarded. That night, it was recorded in heaven that you have been faithfully serving as a pastor, but your reward is yet to come. It was recorded in heaven that you served your boss or your master faithfully. Isn't it amazing that sometimes you can serve sincerely and men can forget? Joseph served the wine presser. When he got to the palace, he forgot him for two years. He added two years of pain. Men can forget, but God remembers. Keep that scripture there. The Bible says, Two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door, they sought to slay the king. Verse 3. The king said, What honor and dignity had been done to Mordecai for this? Listen to me. There are times in our lives where we give our best. Some of us have served people for years. Some of us raised many children. They are in privileged positions today. And by some kind of demonic thing, the devil turned their minds and their hearts. Some of them are our own biological children. There are people that walk the length and the breadth of this city. And you will hear their story that they raise people. There are lecturers that raise senators today. Raise people, but it looks like no one is remembering them. Something is about to happen. Are you ready? The Bible says what honor and what dignity had been done for Mordecai. Then the king's servant that ministered to him said, There is nothing that has been done. I hope you know it was not only Mordecai whose acts were recorded there. But when God is ready to lift you, he will single you out. You are about to pray. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Father, I declare that the book of remembrance be opened over me, my family, my destiny, and every reward you have preordained, I command it to appear in my life. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Father, for the things that I have done for your kingdom, I gave to the work of the Lord for the things that I have done for your kingdom. Let the book of remembrance be open. Please pray. Let the book of remembrance be open. Listen to me. God is almighty. But the way he lifts men and the way he honors men and the way he shows up for men is through the ministry of men. Listen carefully. God is almighty, but he has so chosen according to his predeterminate counsel that he will need a man to help lift men. We are going to pray and provoke by the God of wonders, the ministry of destiny help us. Listen to me. There's no time, but there are four dimensions of destiny helpers that if they do not show up in your life, believe me, you will never rise. Not in this life. I assure you. I wish I had time, I would have shown you from scripture. But very quickly, number one, the first 
kind or type of persons destiny helpers that must show up in your life they are called divine connectors i trust that god will grant us another platform to explain them in detail divine connectors do not have what you need but they know who has it and they can connect you to that person an example was the slave girl she did not have the ability to heal but if the king did not pay at, if Naaman, the Bible says Naaman in 2 Kings 5 was the captain of the Syrian army. He said he was a valiant man in war, but he was leprous. And yet in his house, there was a little slave girl who had the power to link him to the anointing that will set him free. The key to receiving from destiny helpers is discernment because they will come in a fashion that is not easily acceptable. You must trust God for discernment. Someone can be selling a newspaper in a park and that newspaper can carry the advert for your job. You need to discern that this guy was a newspaper seller but there is an angel moving him to me. You need discernment. Number two, very quickly, you need men of influence. There are times that you don't need divine connectors. You need the men of influence themselves. The protocol of lifting is that you have to be initiated by those who are there already. There are times you have the grace and the gift, but you don't have a voice yet at the palace. You will need someone who is already there to speak for you. Politicians understand this. Unbelievers understand this, but Christians do not understand this. Oh, Joseph, you can be gifted, but you will remain there until someone introduces you to the king. And until the king sends for you, even though you are called of God, you will still remain in the prison. Men of influence. You're a man of God here, please pray. No matter how anointed you are, you need these kinds of people. Men of influence, economic influence, sociological influence. We live in evil times where people can get up and take advantage of your limitation. Men of influence. Number three, you need gifted people. There are times you just need to get the job done. And it takes more than sincerity to get the job done. You need gifted people. Gifted people, gifted people, from the protocol to your worship team and everyone, give is a grace. I'm sharing it with you so that you covet it. It does not just happen. These graces are like magnets. They call the people to come. You don't look for them. You won't find them. If you find them, they will come with a side effect. The grace purifies. It knows the kind of people that it calls to you. Gifted people. There are corporations that waste money on so many people because they are not gifted. They are loyal, but they are not gifted. The last group of destiny helpers you need are burden bearers. No matter who you are, times will come in your life where you don't just need gifted people. You don't need men of influence. You need people who can cry with you. People like Naomi was to Ruth. I mean like Ruth was to Naomi. You need people who need more than your talent. You need people who, who want more than... I'm telling you, what betides a man who does not find a help and a support at your downtimes? Not everybody is self-centered. Not everybody is selfish. There are people who genuinely love you and they will not only rise with you, they will die with you. You need to pray those kinds of people. We're about to pray it now. Because you see, the pandemic has almost reset everything again. And you will need this group of people to lift you fast. So while the divine connectors are speaking to you about, speaking to people about what you carry, the men of influence are using their track record and their, their credibility to stabilize your stay. Gifted people are there making things happen. And burden bearers are there. They are the intercessors. They are the people who are not looking for your gifts at all. They are there to protect you. If these four sets of people show up in your life, there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to keep you. Are you ready to pray? So that when you call forth destiny helpers, that the God of wonders should show up for you. First, that God will make you one of such kind of people. First, you can't pray for something that you are not willing to give to. Make me a divine connector. Make me a person of influence, a gifted person, and more importantly, a burden bearer. And then you can now pray it. Are we together? Listen, as some of you are praying this prayer, can I tell you this? Whilst God is sending your own help, God will be revealing to you what you are and to who you are. God can be speaking to you and say from today, whilst you are praying, you become a burden bearer. Listen, 
make sure that whilst we are praying, you are discerning. Discerning. Ministry becomes hard without these combinations. There are people who have that grace, but there are blessed people all around the city, but the spirit of grace has not apportioned them to someone. Can I tell you this? Truly speaking, there are no greedy people. The word greed is a relative word because someone who will refuse to bless you will pursue another person and say, take. It depends on the grace that is on your head. Are you ready to pray? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that I receive the ministry of destiny help us lift your voice and begin to mention them please call them to your life you are a worker a member in this church call them in greater measures in this church i call divine connectors show up in my life i call men of influence appear in the name of jesus i call on gifted people show up in the name of jesus i call on burden bearers show up in the name of jesus are you praying hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord now listen i'm about to spend the time i have left i know that many of us have come with hunger you're going to pray and ask the lord to give you an encounter within these minutes to visit you can i tell you this sincerely i admit to you that every challenge is relative is relative to the grace that confronts it an age-long captivity can melt overnight i'm hearing a horn really sincerely sir i'm hearing like a horn like a shofar blowing this is what i'm hearing in my spirit and you see in the bible every time a shofar blows is announcing a new season I'm, I'm telling you this believe what i'm saying this is a prophetic word i stand by the spirit of grace and i'm telling you that a new season a new season the bible says for us to minister according to the measure of grace i'm hearing a horn it's a new season a season of signs a season of wonders a season of visibility even by the spirit of grace I'm about to pray. There are some of you who are trusting God for infirmities in your body. You see, I hope you don't mistake in what I'm doing for pride. This is an election of grace. It's the privilege of God's grace. Sir, would you be embarrassed if I talk to you? I'm seeing a door that has been closed for the last 10 years being opened again to you. This is what I'm seeing. A door. What do you have to do with music? I'm seeing a door. This was closed by witchcraft for over 10 years. And the Lord is saying, here, yeah, I'm opening it again. This is what I'm seeing. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Celebrate the God of wonders. Mighty things are about to happen here. Prophesy to yourself now. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life has changed Hallelujah Who is grace? Grace, come In the name of Jesus I shift you into a new dimension in the spirit Shalom brakatos kebredi gadibalatosia are you married? Are you married? Where's your husband? At home. Where is home? He's at home in Abuja. 
in Abuja here. Tell your husband the month of March is a month of breakthrough for you. Both of you. God is about, I'm seeing this man cry. There has been helper, please. There has been constraints. But God himself is giving you a visitation. Even by the spirit of God. Listen, I prophesy to you. I don't care what it is that has held you down. I stand by the God of heaven. Here in the name of Jesus. Every obstacle that stands between you and the next level. I clear it out of the way. In the name of Jesus. I clear it out of the way. I'm hearing a name, Martha. Martha. Please help me, guys. Volume. Martha. Who is Martha? I'm hearing a name, Martha. We have to be very, very fast. Martha. This is the name that the Lord is giving me. I want to pray for that person right now. That every plague of darkness, every plague of darkness. Are we together? So we are not teaching some cunningly devised fables or some acts of the flesh. No, we are people who by the grace of God, I assure you that if it's the God of heaven, you will be surprised. I'm about to pray a very serious prayer. There are people today, as it is, there is nothing in your hand. But I give you one month from today, by the God that I serve, honestly, if God be God, you will marvel and wonder at what happens a month from now. You will stand on this altar in the name of jesus christ now i want to pray a prayer and i want you to bring those people out there is a grace that god wants to reveal in this meeting exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 please give it to us and then we pray exodus chapter 3 let your hearts be open please be prayerful don't be distracted help us media please read with me if you can see ready read and I will give Joshua Selman favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And the proof is that it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. I want to pray. There is a grace that is coming upon people. And this grace is for strange dimensions of favor. God wants to shift people. Some of you are representing businesses and families. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Help me with the symbol, please. Please, can you just teach him, let him know what to do. In the name of Jesus, right now I declare, Father, even as you have revealed to me, I'm seeing the number 28. 28 people. The hand of God is coming upon them. You are drinking of that grace for favor. Some of you is in answer to the prayers of your loved ones. They prayed for a long time that God should bring them into that dimension. Right now in the name of Jesus, and at the count of three, may that grace come upon you now. One, two three take that grace take that grace take that grace bring them out take that grace help them please please whether you are an usher or not my goodness my goodness please help them take that grace in the name of jesus we release favor we release favor we release favor open your mouth and begin to pray as they come out open your mouth begin to decree favor in the name of jesus please bring them out Favor, Kali Katos Kebrende Kata. Favor by the supernatural hand of God. Bring them out. We're praying. Kela Porando Sadikata Brahaska di Badia. Take a brand of cinema Haskalabakata. Now, I don't know how I'm going to pray this prayer. Please, this is the prayer that will. I will plead with you to be your brother's keeper. Because I'm about to release the grace for speed. Oh yes, sir. There is a real grace for speed. And when I pray that grace, the power of God will come on people and some of them will begin to run. That's why I'm saying you have to be your brother's keeper so that we don't make this place rowdy. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want you to bring those people out. There are men and women. There are destinies and families that must plunge into this grace for speed. God of wonders, I pray that at the count of three, may that mantle and that grace come upon people. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Take that grace. Take that grace. Speed. Please help them. 
help them speed speed to your life speed to your destiny help this man please hallelujah that every planting that is not of the lord over the life and the family of anyone it must give way now lift your hands father in the name of jesus i stand by the god of heaven and i decree and declare right now at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus and as you shout that name loud inside and outside online every force of darkness capacitor tying anyone's destiny down that has found that you will not rise is about to let you go now are you ready now one two three shout jesus right now i command those powers be gone right now release your destinies now bring them out please release your destinies right now in the name of jesus christ i set on fire every altar that is not of god yokes of darkness i declare be released now please bring them out be released now by the fire of the holy ghost be released right now i'm seeing a, a there is a grace that is coming on women i'm seeing chains people who have been bound i stretch my hands i'm seeing the number 13 i don't know where you are but right now i stretch my hands in the name of jesus at the count of three may that fire come upon you please bring them out one two three take that fire right now take that fire every altar of darkness tying your destiny it must let you go now it must let you go now hold mama carefully bring out now listen you are standing you are standing for families there are some of you listen to me you are not just please don't come out at random those under the anointing just bring those under the anointing in the name of jesus christ there are families here that are under all kinds of yokes my goodness i'm telling you i'm just seeing like 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 light just coming on people i'm stretching my hands right now please help me help this guy let him know what to do huh in the name of jesus christ at the count of three there is such massive deliverance going on right now one two three take that grace right now the chains that have held you down there are people who cannot move forward you've been in abuja for years and it looks like there are forces holding you down i declare be released now be released now be released now by the power of the holy ghost bring them out be released now in the name of jesus blessing blessing who is blessing i'm hearing the name blessing you are wearing black with a black face mask all black all black is there someone like that blessing it's time for your life to change i stretch my hands right now change in the name of jesus christ by the spirit of grace bring them out fire is burning in this place in the name of jesus fire is burning in this place i set every altar please connect please connect be serious i set every altar all of you who are in front here the spirits that oppress you at the count of three go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm seeing the mantle for the prophetic i'm seeing the number 14 please just give me strings it's going to come on 14 people 
I'm saying some of you have prayed, some of you have fasted, you have seen it in dreams and visions. The prophetic is real. I know that there are abuses and the rest, but please don't confuse that. There are people who can step into this grace. I want to stretch my hands. Father, I do not know where they are across the length and the breadth of this auditorium, but there are people you have preordained to be in this meeting that must drink of this wine. My God, I'm seeing an eagle. There it goes. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, may that grace and that man to fall like a tornado upon your life. Are you ready? One, two, three. Take that grace. Help them. Help them. Help that gentleman. I activate that prophetic. The eyes that see, the ears that hear, help this pastor, my goodness, in the name of Jesus, step into levels of fire. In the name of Jesus, step into levels of fire. Bring them out. Drink of that prophetic well. Spring up all wells. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. In this season, the borders are rising. There are women of power women of grace i'm about to release that grace where are the borders Share the word of the lord i bring a clarion call by the spirit at the count of three may that man to locate you right now one two three take that grace fire upon your life fire upon your ministry fire upon the borders fire upon the borders fire take that grace two of you this this pastor take that grace take that grace you and your wife take that grace in the name of jesus the spirit of the lord is saying i'm revealing my glory in a new dimension your eyes will see it i'm revealing my glory in a new dimension your eyes will see it i'm still i don't know why god is still saying to speak over women there are people you are returning back to the realm of prophetic dreams where you will see things before they happen i stretch my hands take that grace right now 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 hallelujah madam this woman with green yes lift your hands is are you husband and wife sir lift your hands both of you i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on both of you i'm stretching my hands take that grace both of you in the name of jesus the christ of god drink of this grace step into new dimensions in the spirit help them in the name of jesus you will never be the same never be the same never be the same never be the same by the spirit of the living god now hear me every door that has refused to open in the name of jesus i'm praying for you now for as long as it is a door standing before you mateus kani parahasia and it has refused to open i come by the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of jesus i speak to that door Ephata, be open hither and tita Ephata, be open hither and tita open your mouth and begin to pray declare that door opens the door of my influence the door of grace are you praying open your mouth and begin to pray hallelujah hallelujah i decree and declare grace upon your prayer life in the name of jesus ephesians chapter 4 
and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened it says being alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them i pray that spiritual ignorance dries up from your life in the name of jesus i declare colossians 1 verse 9 upon your life that you'll be filled with the knowledge of his will you'll be filled with all wisdom and you'll be filled with spiritual understanding in the name of jesus christ the bible says and i will restore the years everything you have lost in time please believe this one I stand again in agreement and we declare over you and over the nations in the name of Jesus the grace that brings restoration drink of that grace drink of that grace supernatural restoration in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for every man woman of God here present and those connecting online that you desire in your life you desire in your ministry i stand in faith and i declare that grace comes upon you now that grace comes upon you now that grace begins to speak over your life in the mighty name of jesus all those in politics and government i decree and declare by the spirit of god we separate you and we declare step into new levels of achievement in the name of Jesus, I speak over captains of industry. Hear the word of the Lord. I decree and declare that in this season where many are saying there is a casting down. For you hear your prophecy. Let there be a rising up. In the name of Jesus. It was James in chapter 2 and verse 26 who declared that for a spirit without a body without a spirit is dead. Your business is only a body. There is a spirit that must give it life. I declare the spirit that powers the bodies, the vessels, the projects, the businesses that excel. In the name of Jesus Christ, may that grace rest upon you. Can we declare over your finances? There are different levels of wealth. And the prophetic dimension comes as an advantage. A system of advantage in this kingdom. You have your products and your services that you offer. And that's wonderful. You have your value that you provide. But much more than that, there has to be a supernatural backing that pushes you forward. Are we together now? It says, there were many widows in Zarephath, but to none was Elijah sent. In the name of Jesus, I stand again with the angels over this house. And I declare over your finances in a very strange way. For the Bible declares, believe the Lord your God, so shall you be established. It says, believe his prophet, so shall you prosper. Step into strange seasons of abundance. Seasons of opportunity. Seasons of abundance. In the name of Jesus. If there is anyone here that the spirit of death is hovering around you hovering around your family please hear this because we are we live in seasons where someone can just say headache my head my head and just fall down and die someone shout no way in the name of Jesus I speak over your life I declare that anyone here who is being appointed unto death by reason of death passes over you in the name of jesus christ you will not be a victim of kidnapping you will not be a victim of accident you will not be a victim of plane crash you will not be a victim of the wickedness of men a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side we prophesy that none will harm you with your eyes will you see and behold the reward of the wicked may this be your heritage in the name of jesus let me pray for families here psalm 112 it says blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth then he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed that wealth and riches will be in his house and yet his righteousness endures forever i declare we pray for our children may they be mighty in the name of jesus listen this spirit in Africa that makes children, even though grown, 
that they have to depend on parents to still feed them in old age we stand by the grace of god every young person here who is 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 responsible and should be employed or should be engaged i declare we push you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ I pray for those who are in the music ministry in the name of Jesus I use this wonderful man of God who ministered what an amazing vessel you are in the name that is above all names I declare I use him as a point of where's the gentleman he's not here in the name of Jesus Christ may God bless you my dear one you will step into unprecedented dimensions of grace in the name of Jesus and I use him as a point of contact anyone here who is in the music ministry genuine worshiper and you've not gained the kind of visibility that allows you to be a blessing and to be rewarded in the name of jesus we tear the veil and we announce you i release a hear ye him anointing upon you in the name of jesus find visibility we multiply your influence by the spirit in the name of jesus let me pray a prayer that God is putting in my heart. I hope you don't see it as carnal. There are people here. The grace for territory is not yet on you. You've been in this city for a long time. But it looks like you have not gotten your own place. I want to shift you by prophecy. Standing in partnership with the man of God. You should not be in this city for long in a place of good and abundance and your portion has not been given to you. And they dug a well and the Philistines covered it. They dug another one, they covered it. Then they dug the third one and they left them. They called it Rehoboth. He said, God has given me my own space. I prophesy to someone in the name that is above all names. Between now and the end of this year, have your own space. I give you your own portion in this city, in this land. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want you to pray and knock on the door of heaven. Your heart is already right with God, I know that. But I want you to agree with God and say, Lord, between now, can you give me a reason to praise your name this year? I tell you, if you, if you obey this instruction and pray with your heart, you will be surprised what my God will do. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, I agree with you. Shapata. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Ay, 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 ay. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Do it for your glory. Surprise my father. Surprise my mother. Surprise them. I intercede for them. May the angel of your presence reach them. Give them a miracle. Let that cancer be healed. Let that HIV be healed. Let that barrenness be broken. Let her take in. Having a child already in a womb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone shout this after me in the name of Jesus. I decree that every force in the heavenlies programmed, assigned to stop results from manifesting in my life, to discourage my Christian life, I challenge you by the blood of Jesus, lift your voice and pray. Ancestral powers, yokes, spirits, ordinances, written in the heavenlies, projected by witchcraft and wickedness to stop my life from glorifying God.
to stop results from happening in my life. I challenge you. I challenge you. I challenge you by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. Let's take one more prayer point. I want us to release the ministry of angels. Listen. The Bible says, are they not ministering spirits? Let me tell you, hear me. Angels are real. I see them all the time. You will be foolish to believe angels are not real. Not everybody here seated physically in Koinonia is a human being. I have seen them many times as I preach. They sit down like human beings. They are not human beings. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. See, some of you are still joking. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I am an heir of salvation. Therefore, I decree and I deploy the ministry of angels to every area of my life to war a warfare until I become victorious lift your voice and pray I release their ministry release my helpers to come into my destiny release favor I release angels over Koinonia the angels assigned over Koinonia we release you by the word of God the angels assigned over God's people we release you we release you we release you we release you in the name of Jesus bring miracles bring signs bring wonders hallelujah we're out of time but let's pray the Holy Ghost is asking me that we challenge the spirit of fear look at me listen let me tell you something about the spirit of fear I tell you fire is burning in this place listen fear is a dangerous spirit it stops you from taking God seriously when God speaks fear exposes you to the obvious limitations it's not that they are not there the obstacles are there but God's word does not explain it creates God will not tell you how by next week you will be holding a million in your hand don't be stupid and say God how will it happen who do I know blessed is she that believes he said for unto her there shall be a performance fear of death listen fear of failure fear of not having the money to feed yourself do you know it's fear that make people do all kinds of foolish things you are afraid before you know it you sell your phone because you want 10,000 in your pocket the 10,000 finishes you sell your trouser people sell all kinds of things people have converted and have left God because of fear in the name of Jesus I challenge the spirit of fear over my life over my family over my loved ones over koinonia I declare in the name of Jesus you are banished from my life forever lift your voice and pray there's no fear there's no fear I refuse to fear say unto the righteous it shall be well say unto the righteous koinonia you pray tonight don't look around, pray Say unto the righteous It shall be well Say unto the righteous It shall be well Fear of marriage Fear of children Fear of terrorism Hallelujah. 
afternoon in the name of Jesus. Father, every prophecy you spoke over my life that has not happened, I want you to know that I still believe you. And I agree with you. I must receive that testimony. Lift your voice and pray. I wrestle with prophecy. I agree. I agree. You said you will heal my father. I still believe. You said you will heal my mother. I still believe. You said you will prosper my business. Prosper my ministry. I still believe. lift your hands I want to pray for you I'm a believer I'm a believer when you dare to believe God and understand what it takes to get the results you need I pray for you in the name that is above all names first and foremost even as you have prayed I challenge every force of witchcraft that has been released over Nigeria released over states to frustrate believers and make it look like God's word is not working I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus number two I pray for you the kind of speed that you have not seen from Je I ask the God that I serve to give you that speed in the name of Jesus that he will perform his word hastily hastily in the name of Jesus number three I pray for you with all my heart every secret you have been looking at but you have never really understood you look at it all the time but you, are, you listen to the messages help them please but you have not gotten it I speak upon your spirit may an unction the unction that teaches men things I'm, I'm doing an impartation upon your spirit I pray for you in the name of Jesus may that light shine upon your spirit May that light, that illumination shine upon your spirit. Any man on earth who is holding your answer, any physical man holding your answer, I put pressure upon their spirit. They must answer you. They must answer your parents. They must answer your loved ones. I pray for you every miracle we have received as a ministry this year whether it is in finances whether it is in increase whether it is in influence and impact I pray for you from the depth of my heart beginning from this night I don't care how short the time is I decree and I ask the Lord most high to reproduce that testimony in your life May he reproduce that testimony in your life. Anyone here, hold on please, who is sick in any part of your body, any nonsense the devil has planted, whether you call it fibroid, whether you call it menstrual pain, whether you say barrenness, impotency, whether you call it migraine, SS, AS, bad dreams, witchcraft any kind of sickness right now as I stand here in the name that is above all names may the fire of the Holy Ghost surge through your body and clear that devil out of your life 
May the fire of the Holy Ghost surge through. Help them, please. May the fire of the Holy Ghost, my God, I tell you, I see fire falling on people. That's what I see in the spirit. Fire. People are getting healed. May the fire of the Holy Ghost search through your body and clear that devil right now. May the fire of the Holy Ghost, I say it again, standing upon this grace, may the fire of the Holy Ghost search through your body and clean your blood and cleanse your life. Anyone here called SS, AS, I command that genotype change now. Any stranger you were not born with, if you were not born with it, breast lump, fibroid, ovarian cyst, any devil sitting on your body, your body must glorify God tonight. Therefore, I curse that devil. I curse that spirit. I curse that devil. I curse that spirit. Everything that has stopped you from being productive, I prophesy to your hands. Your hands represent they are symbolic of your productivity when the hands of Samson were tied he could not do anything I pray for these hands may God teach you the mystery of profiting in the name of Jesus he said I am the Lord that teacheth thy hands to profit and leadest thou in the way that thou should go may God show you the mysteries may he show you in the name of Jesus Everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family. It comes to end this night in the name of Jesus. I pray for your spiritual life. The kind of encounter that you have not had from January till now. Strange encounters, revelations of heaven. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, every wall that stands before you and the next dimension, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho, I command every wall, go down flat go down flat financial walls go down flat career walls go down flat in the name of Jesus and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter I compel favor from them to you I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous, not more favored, more honorable. Many people 
do not know what honor is. The fortitude for preference. There is an unction from God that fishes you out of the crowd, places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you, reward you, recognize that which God has invested within you. Listen to me. There are many gifted people. The eye that can bless has not seen you. There are many men of God. The eyes that can discern and lift you is not there. Let me pray for you. There is a grace for honor. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may the mantle that makes for honor, territorial honor, honor at a national level, in the name of Jesus, receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear. Then you come. Listen, it's a waste to fight battles without reward. David said, what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath? Sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward. I pray for you. May the Lord position your destiny helpers and cause them to love you and to honor you. The Lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing. It is still a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. Have the faith to believe. Don't sit down questioning, leave your mind and trust God. It is within his power to make great. He takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around. I'm praying for you. For some of you before this year is over, step into a dimension of prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared parushalata. I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. The grace that will produce results of wonders in your life. May that grace rest upon you now. Prepare blessings that take you to realms. Ten years put in one month, I release that grace upon you. Listen, these graces are not some carnal show of wealth. No, they are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. pray for every family represented here. The sound of mourning, the sound of pain and anguish by the spirit of the living God, let it come to an end this night. Everything that 
that has refused to walk in your life by the power of the highest I compel it to begin to walk now men you do not know may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the presence of God the weightiness the substance of his presence that must rest upon you especially if you are in ministry by the power of the Holy Ghost be a career of divine presence in the name of Jesus everyone here trusting God for a job before this year runs out may God give you a miracle job Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough. We call upon the God of the heavens. In the name of Jesus, let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace. Hear me. Whoever ignores you will pay for it. Hear me. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. Let me say it again. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. I pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice. The grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold. May that grace rest upon you. I pray for every man and every woman of God here. The errands and the horse that will hold your hands. Loyal men indeed. May God give them to you. Anyone here who the testimony over your life is ichabod. I declare by the spirit of God a restoration happens now. shall not be afraid of the snare of the fowler nor the noisome pestilence nor the destruction that wasted in noonday says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side it says none shall hurt you but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked I pray for you as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler may you escape from every evil May you escape from every trap. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak over your life. Go from glory to glory. You say speak over your prayer life, over your word study life. Whatever has stolen your joy, whatever has stolen your fire, whatever has stolen your passion, whatever has stolen your focus, in the name of Jesus, by fire, let it be restored tonight. May the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life. May you be a wonder first to yourself. And then may you be a wonder to everyone around you. In the name of Jesus. Anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death. To see to it that you will not finish this year well. To see to it that it will not be well with you and your family. Gehazi came and met the woman and said it's all well it's all well with your household I pray for you because the Bible says to say to the righteous it shall be well therefore I speak over you it is well I declare over you all is well in the name of Jesus Christ doors of delay I command you be open in the name of Jesus Delay, be gone. Delay, be gone. Delay, delay in marriage. Delay in jobs. I cause it to its root. I release you in the name of Jesus. Every academic bondage. Academic bondage. Kateka 
Aleto Sopa Repete Latu Sabadi Adata In the name of Jesus Be free Be free Be free Mental blockage Be free from it Academic bondage I set you free This is the best exam You would have ever written In your institutions of learning I prophesy it By the power of the highest I call this session for you A season of sevenfold restoration Sevenfold restoration Sevenfold Sevenfold Not onefold Not twofold I speak it Where you have been victimized Any student here Who has been victimized Right now Whether it is project Or service year Or whatever I change it in the realm of the spirit Any one of your loved ones That has no job I command Fearful Supernatural job In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus Every womb Called Barry I don't care Whether the womb has been removed or not Right now In nine months time You will celebrate Miracle children Be open Every barren womb Be open Hallelujah Every plague of death Over your life Or your family members Make sure you are lifting your hands up. Every plague of death By the blood That speaketh better things Because I see miscarriages That the devil wants to bring To many families I see miscarriage of children Every plague of death I command it to pass over you forever In the name of Jesus He said because thou hast loved righteousness And hated wickedness Therefore God Even thy God Has anointed you with a type of oil Called the oil of gladness That sets you above your fellows The anointing That brings you above I call you in the realm of the spirit Rise up in the name of Jesus Rise up A new level of prosperity A new level of lifting A new level of wisdom And Jesus grew In wisdom In stature And in favor With God and with men as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives Let a cloak of favor Hit you where you are Favor 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 Every terminal disease in this place HIV Cancer In the name of Jesus We terminate it once and for all Be free in the name of Jesus Be free in the name of Jesus SS AS We change your genotype In the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus. A 
every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight it is time for the new anointing guard up your loins and be ready every yoke of bondage surely must be broken I command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of Jesus Christ captivity ends in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm standing in the spirit before a gate and the Lord is telling me let God's people walk to it and move forward in their life I command you by the spirit and according to the vision of the Lord to me move forward go forward no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it I place you inside it I take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil of your life I release it move forward go forward in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak to you every Egyptian you see today you are the one who knows the Egyptian so lift your hands with faith in your spirit everything called an Egyptian as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives once and for all bye bye to them forever bye bye to them forever in your family bye bye to them bye bye to them I release signs wonders I release miracles take it take it take it take it from the depth of my heart according to the order of grace take your miracle take your miracle take your miracle everything your hand touches from today in the name that is above all names I command it to multiply this is what I'm demonstrating to you what I saw in the spirit that God is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life may the Lord take you where your gift will be needed may the Lord take you where your gift I command demand upon your oil demand prophetic demand I command every uncompleted family project every uncompleted family project the Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit and I pray that between now and the next 21 days I command angels of help I release it to your family. Receive it. Receive it. Help. Help is coming. Zion's help. The helper of Zion. Move across families. Move across families. I tell you as surely as the Lord lives. Between today and the next 21 days. You will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I impart spiritual gift upon you. 
at the count of seven let fresh fire fall upon everybody every one two three my god do it i see angels four five six there it is come on take it take it take it take it take it outside take it take it take it in the name of jesus take it take it take it fire the prophetic the apostolic the evangelistic teaching mantles pastoral graces leadership entrepreneurship I fire it into your spirit Everywhere you have been deserted So that no man goes through you I call you an eternal excellency And a joy of many generations In the name of the Lord Jesus Doors be open Breakthrough Breakthrough Many of you don't know what breakthrough is You just receive it Breakthrough I release it Breakthrough I release it Breakthrough I release it breakthrough an angel stands in this row take it breakthrough take it take it take it take it right to the back take it take it Say in the name of Jesus. Say it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that any spirit entity finding expression in my mind, in my body, around my life. Hear the word of the Lord. I cast you out of my life now. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, fire is falling. Pray, fire is falling. I cast every spirit. I cast every devil. I cast every spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost. My mind, my body, around my life, around Koinonia, in the name of Jesus, around my family. If you are married, also pray for your family. Pray for your children. I cast every devil.
Lord is healing fibroid. I'm seeing the Lord healing now. The Lord is healing fibroid. The Lord is healing fibroid in the name of Jesus. I command that devil. The Lord is healing fibroid. Now, the Lord is ministering to me. A mighty deliverance is going to happen now. It's starting with ladies. Any spirit entity that comes in the form of a man and attempts to oppress you in the night, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, let the fire from heaven fall right now and command I command that spirit to go help them right now any spirit entity using the face of anyone to molest you and close doors inside outside I command deliverance now I command deliverance now let the daughters of Jacob possess their possession in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. I'm hearing in my spirit uncontrolled anger. It's a spirit. It's leaving people right now. Uncontrolled anger. It's, a, it's an unusual anger. Rage. It comes, you can hear anything and you can do anything. I'm seeing fire in the name of Jesus. Shakatos kabarakatos emeyakata. Anyone who is a victim of this operation. Right now in the name of Jesus, I bring you deliverance. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uncontrolled anger. I come against it now. Please help her. Shata skota ba shata diasa. Embra kato saba rokato shakete balakaria. I'm seeing a vision. And the Lord is asking me to pray on that case. In this vision, I'm seeing someone dream. That's what I'm seeing now. And in that dream, you keep seeing yourself going back either to your old house or to a primary school or writing an exam you are finished. It's a strong spirit of delay. I stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace. Help your wife. Right now in the name of Jesus. At the count of three, the spirit of delay. Hear the word of the Lord. Let God's people go now. One, two, three. I command that spirit. Go now. Go now. Please help them. Go now. This one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind. No devil should take you back again. I command that spirit. Go now. I cost that spirit now. If there is anyone you know Whether you are here or anyone you know That for some reason has not been able to take in In the name of barrenness Whether you are here or you are standing for them I want you to agree, I want to pray Let's see the devil That will stop them from taking it In the name of Jesus Anyone you know and you are standing for That the devil I don't care what the medical report is That the devil has come To make sure that they will not Celebrate children In the name that is above all names We release children from heaven in the name of Jesus, we release children from heaven. We open every barren womb. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a group of people. 
you see you have dreams frequently and in the dreams you see yourself receiving things and it's something that in the physical you are hoping to receive but the moment you see it in that dream it will never happen again it's an irony it's like the opposite of what you see in dreams is what happens the lord is asking me to deliver those people now please help her help her just stand near your wife so that she doesn't have to fall right now in the name of jesus shakatos emprantas kanasone hashamariakata shakraskote bakatosa barekata eko shamama shanadakata reketeke in the name that is above all names I decree and declare from the realm of the spirit let there be deliverance for you now let there be deliverance for you now If you have seen this pattern I'm about to describe in your family, then I want you to listen carefully. It's always that the future is worse than the past. You never have a situation where you leave certain things and go higher and higher. You look at all your loved ones. They once worked. They once married. They once had children. They once had a house. You are in a situation where the future is never brighter than the past. It's always once upon a time this was happening. I need to crush that devil from your life. Please help them. Once upon a time I was rich. Once upon a time I was married. Once upon a time I was on fire for God. Once upon a time I was a pastor. I had a church. No. The path of the just is as a shining light that shineth ever brighter unto the perfect day. When your tomorrow becomes worse than your yesterday, there is a spirit reversing the equation. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. In the name that is above all names, I declare that any force from hell that is responsible for aborting a glorious tomorrow to take the events of the past and still bring it into your tomorrow, right now at the count of three, I declare that spirit must let you go. One, two, three, let them go now. Let them go now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. My spirit is heavy. Circles of repeated sicknesses. I want to pray now. It's not a normal thing. Whether it is hepatitis, whether it is a blood related disease, or whether it is every month malaria, every month malaria, every month typhoid, you treat it, it still comes back. Every month headache, every month whatever it is. Hold on please. The Lord is showing me something. I just saw like a pile of money and then I saw it disappear. And the Lord said there are people, money physically disappears, like lives their life. I'm not saying you waste it. You can keep 10,000 and come back and find 7,000 and nobody was in that house. It's not just money, items. You can wash clothes and hang it. You, you didn't steal it. You will come back, you will not find it. Listen, well, this is a, a deliverance series. Just allow me to help that lady. I'm seeing a lady in a vision now. You were alone. You washed your underwear in the night. By the next day, you didn't find two of them again. It's gone. From that day, something happened in your life in a strange way. Severe menstrual pain is one of the things you started having. Uncontrollable pain. Uncontrollable In the name of Jesus. Everything the devil has taken from anyone, I decree and declare by the anointing of the Spirit, let there be restoration now. Let 
Let there be restoration now. Let there be restoration now. The Lord is showing me someone. Every time you see someone die in the dream, a few weeks later it will happen physically. Now you have seen your loved ones. You saw them last week. You saw like a, somebody was announcing to you that I don't know if it's your mother or something that died. If we don't pray for you, it's going to happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, all death, where is thy sting? All grave, where is thy victory? I prophesy right now upon your life. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I command that death to pass over your family. I command that death to pass over your family. Just, just let me just talk about two issues. I'm struggling to share what God is showing me now. This has to do with a group of ladies. Listen. There is a lady here. Every time you see yourself in a dream, you are a man, not a woman. That's why I'm struggling to share what I'm saying. Physically, you are a lady. But every time you see yourself in a dream, it's like you are carrying the form of a man. This thing has affected you even in the area of relationship. If a guy looks at you and says, I love you, it's like, it's like, um, it's, it's like you feel as if you are gay. It's, it's like something has numbed the capacity to receive love as a lady. Because of that encounter is a demonic thing that I have to pray for you for. A very demonic thing. I'm seeing like smoke. This is strange. And then it is it's just like moving around in the air. Wherever those groups of people are, I don't believe it's just one person. It's an operation of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now. And I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be free from that demonic siege now. Be free from that demonic siege now. Ah, hold on. There is a lady, a physical person appeared to you, not a dream. I'm not talking of your dreaming physically physical like you are seeing me like this appeared to you and was having a conversation with you appeared to you and was having a conversation with you and from that conversation your life was never the same again it looked like it was a woman that was appearing and talking to you like revealing to you some secrets that had to do with the past and from that day you started hearing voices even in the afternoon you can sit down and hear like people are discussing i need to pray for you if i don't pray for you very soon they will admit you in the hospital because they'll say you are talking and behaving like somebody who has a psychosomatic condition wherever that person is in the name of jesus i may not call you out because of time but i declare right now by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that devil that spirit in the name of Jesus be free from it now if you know in this place that you find out that certain sicknesses never leave you they keep repeating cycles just place your hand on your chest I'm about to pray it doesn't matter what part of your body and what sickness. You just place your hand on your chest. I'm going to pray. Someone will shout under the anointing. When that happens, the anointing for this healing is not a sickness. It's a pattern that God is breaking now. The moment that shout happens, I will rebuke that. The power of God is looking for one person. There's somebody that will shout. That's the shout. 
right now in the name of Jesus by the anointing of the Holy Spirit every pattern of reoccurring infirmity reoccurring sickness whether it's a blood related disease every pattern I say it again of reoccurring sickness reoccurring disease right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I command the spirit responsible lose your hold now 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 hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit my God I'm seeing a sword right now I declare every hold of darkness even in this series help them Jesus look at what is happening there in the name of Jesus you know my voice I was once your victim but tonight has come as one who has been given the keys of David by the message of God I declare right now in the name of Jesus everyone here under the sound of my voice who is under any kind of siege right now be free in the name of Jesus 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 every family under any kind of siege that is mocking your Christian integrity and making God's word look like a lie in the name of Jesus fire, I'm seeing fire that's what I'm seeing from heaven in the name of I'm praying for you in the spirit in the name of Jesus I cause the plague of witchcraft I cause the plague of witchcraft in the name of Jesus every voice speaking against everyone's destiny the Bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us the Bible says he nailed it to the cross I declare and I decree by the substitutionary sacrifice of the eternal begotten of the Father I cause every power that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ I reverse any ordinance in the spirit over every individual over every family I command a reversal now in the name of Jesus and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession let me pray for you everything that must enter your hand the open doors that the blood of Christ release help them please everything you have seen in the realm of the spirit God has shown you dreams that you are a possessor God has shown you dreams your children, your breakthrough your lifting, your speed, your job your marriage in the name of Jesus I release it to your hands now become a possessor I release it to your hands now Become a possessor. And I pray for you. The Bible says when you catch a thief, he won't just restore what he stole because he has wasted your time by stealing. Can I speak restoration? Let me tell you. There are many of us you have lost things. Some you have lost time. 
Masha Makata, Leko Totkabata. Joshua said, Son, go back, move, go back. I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. I prophesy as one sent in the name that is above all names. Everything the devil took away from you, I command a restoration now. I command a restoration now. Whatever you have lost in time, I speak to you. Between today and Friday coming, I pray that someone will have the faith to believe this prayer. May my God, the God of Jeshurun, arise and surprise you. Arise and surprise you. We call him Ebenezer, the helper of Israel. I declare, oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the next two minutes, I'd like you to receive things in the spirit. The things that the Bible said. Please don't take casual this opportunity. We are operating under an anointing. I'd like you to declare. Receive by faith. In the name of Jesus. Receive mantles, receive anointings, receive open doors, receive favors, receive ble- blessings, receive graces in the name of Jesus, receive ease. That you may receive, that your joy may be fulfilled. Hallelujah. I'd like you to take these remaining two minutes seriously. You are going to make decrees. You are not talking to God. You are talking to your destiny. You are talking to your life. Are you ready to pray? Open your mouth and make the keys. Lift up your heads. Oh, ye gates. Shake it. Lift up your heads. I command close doors. Be open. In the name of Jesus. I hold the keys of David. And I command the doors open. That no man will show. I decree and declare My path is as a shining light It shines brighter It shines brighter Unto the perfect day I decree and declare I shall not die I live I choose life I choose life I reject death Not by accident Not by the soul God is a with favor like a shield. God is a with favor like a shield. In the name of Jesus, I go from glory to glory. I go from power to power. I go from grace to grace. From anointing to anointing. From wisdom to wisdom. Koinonia is like a shining light that grows brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. The Lord gives the word from this place. And great be the confidence of them that publish it. Bless your children. Bless your wife. Bless your husband. Bless your home. Bless your finances. Bless your spiritual life. We declare over Zaria, we declare over Kaduna, we declare over Nigeria in the name of Jesus, rising from glory to glory. Everything I do, 
whatsoever in the name of Jesus. No failure in my life. So no failure in me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the Negev. Shalabarato zagabarato jenekas and tekele barato sabaroto shubahasa and telegrando sada baruse dias krabaga baruda sige barudisias and glato sabrada baratusiata. In the name of Jesus, turn situations around. We declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Agree with me in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the apostle says, Lord, behold their threatenings. And we pray that you stretch forth your hands and you grant that miracle signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son. He said, behold their threatenings. Respond to their threatenings by stretching forth your hands. And that miracles and signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son. Father, we decree and declare. These are issues that have threatened the liberty of the saints. They have robbed you of glory. And Lord, we bring them under judgment. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I stand in agreement with every grace within this house. And we decree and prophesy that these Egyptians you see today, in the name of Jesus, you see them no more forever. These Egyptians you see today, in the name of Jesus, you see them no more forever. My Bible says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, He said, we were like them that dream, and our mouths were filled with laughter, and they said among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. He says, the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Then He says, turn again our captivity like the streams of the south. We decree and declare that everything that represents captivity here, let it be turned like the streams of the south. The Bible says, have you heard of this proverb before that a nation be born in one day? But then it says, as soon as Zion travails, it says she shall put forth her son. I declare speed to every request here. <laughs> Prophet Joel speaking by the Spirit said, and I will restore the years. Let me tell you this, real dominion is dominion over time. No matter what you dominate, if you do not dominate time, you are not walking in dominion. And I will restore the years. Many of us, we've wasted time, we've wasted opportunities. In the name of Jesus, let there be restoration. <laughs> Hallelujah. When no man arises to see you important enough for them to invest their time, their credibility, their reputation, their resources to honor the dealings of God in your life. Hear me. The diagnosis is that you do not sustain favor. It's not yet at work in your life. One more time I pray in the name of Jesus. The favor that will move you and shift you to strange dimensions of grace. May it rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus, I declare the wisdom that comes from above, the wisdom, the hidden wisdom of God that was ordained for the glory of the saints. May that dimension of wisdom be made manifest in your life from tonight. Hallelujah. 
The Bible says, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness. It says, therefore, even God, thy God, hath anointed you with an oil called the oil of gladness. And it says that oil sets you above your fellows. The grace that distinguishes you. In the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And the king sent for Joseph, and they brought him out of his dungeon. Not God, the king. A king can send for you and bring you out of your situation. Listen, listen to me. The king sent for Joseph, not God. There are men who can help men. All blessings come from God through men to men. I declare the man that is ordained of God to hold your hands, your ministry, your business in this season and to see to it that you rise. In the name of Jesus, enjoy their ministry. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I pray for every dead vision every dead dream that which has been locked up in your spirit man but has refused to find expression i give it life right now in the name of jesus can i pray for your family it says as for me and my house when you serve the lord alone you are not free it must be you and your house i pray for your family members may the angel of his presence go to every family and see to it that it becomes a reflection of the glory of god <laughs> hallelujah acts chapter 12 the bible says on account of the gospel peter was caught after James was beheaded and he was chained and there were guards that protected him but the church prayed earnestly the Bible says and then it says that the angel of the Lord came into the prison cell and the chains fell off on their own and he led Peter out through three gates the first gate opened him up and then the second gate opened him up and then the Bible says he came to a gate called the iron gate and when that gate opened the next thing he saw was the city there are gates that must open for you to step into your place of influence watch this it was not the first gate it was not the second gate the iron gate opened and your business found visibility the iron gate opened it says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder the gates that must be open for your influence your business your ministry to find expression i speak to it Ephata, be open be open be open be open In the name of Jesus. Hear me, I prophesy to you. Whoever fights you goes down instantly. Listen. The Bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong. He reproved kings for their sake. Saying, that means this is the basis. Touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm. I say it again. Whoever fights you goes down instantly. <laughs> Everyone here, under the sound of my voice, due for promotion. I stand by the God of heaven and I shift you to the next level. <laughs> And everyone trusting God for a job. In the parable that Jesus gave, they said, why sittest thou idle? He said, no man employ us. Immediately they got a job. I declare to you by the Spirit, between now and the next three months, like the ark of God in the house of Obed-Edom, receive miracle testimonies. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me speak to everything dead in your life. He came and met the girl, 12 years old, dead. And he said, no, she only sleepeth. 
and the people laughed and he drove them out and then he held her by the hands and said talita kumi little girl i say unto you arise i speak to everything that seems dead in the name of jesus by the spirit that raised christ from the dead harusa barash kabaranda sibeta in the name of jesus come back to life now Hallelujah. The Bible says, remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. It says, for behold, I do a new thing. I pray for you. Everything that does not represent the workings of God in your life. In the name of Jesus, I declare that it fades with your yesterday. And I open you up to a new season of supernatural manifestation. I prophesy to everyone who is trusting God for direction for the next level of his life. Be it marriage, be it whatever. You are at a crossroad and you need the voice of God. May you hear the voice of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy clarity. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy Kapodoko Suta Balada. Everyone who is already moving the wrong direction, either as a result of wrong advices or wrong perceptions about the path of both spiritual and physical progress in the name of jesus may the lord redirect your steps now may the lord redirect your steps now may the lord redirect your steps now anyone about to leave the geography of your anointing as a result of wrong counsel or the quest for greener pastures the Bible says there is a way that seemed right. You must be at the geography of your grace to drive. And Isaac sowed not everywhere in that land. In the name that is above all names. May you hear the voice of his majesty. As you sleep tonight, may you hear the voice of his majesty. I pray for every board here who is experiencing stagnation. You are marking time and instead of you to make progress, you are not moving. By extension to every family. In the name that is above all names. The Lord told Moses, why are you crying to me? Tell the people to move forward. I prophesy over your destiny. Move forward now. Move forward now. Move forward now. Make progress now. Make progress now. I prophesy over those trusting God to settle down maritally. Man every power of darkness tying down your marital destiny in the name of Jesus that embargo is lifted now by the blood of Jesus that embargo is lifted now sisters I open your marital doors now in the name of Jesus no more shall this proverb be used in your life may the Lord change your story hallelujah because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and that oil sets you up Above your fellows in the name of Jesus. The anointing that distinguishes you 
Manto kaparata legata. So break take it the leke bosia. From today, everywhere you go, be distinguished now. Help them please. So that they don't break. Be distinguished now. Shekete pokoto. Be distinguished now. No more will you be common. No more will you be like the rest. The hand of God is upon you. No more will you be common. I prophesy from the depths of my heart. Let an anointing that distinguishes you rest upon you now. All those trusting God for jobs. Let me... There's nothing as joblessness. The Bible says he saw them idle. And he said, why standest ye idle? And they say, no man employ us. He told them, go to the vine. When God speaks, there must be job. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Wherever your job is, I don't care what the limiting factors are. There is a superior advantage because you are in Christ. Therefore, I invoke man tato sotobala by the ministry of destiny help us wherever you need to be called wherever your cv is i provoke a miracle job now 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 Hallelujah. I pray for everyone called barren in this place. Anyone called barren in this place. I declare to you according to the word of the Lord. That according to the time of life. May you return with your miracle child. May you return with your miracle child. I speak it. I establish it in the spirit. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18. It says, Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, Four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Israel, against Jerusalem, and against Judah. So that no man will lift up his head. He said, But I have sent carpet in the name that is above all names the lord told me he will bring breakthrough i want to prophesy it now now whatever has limited you whatever has limited your family right now in the name that is above all names i come with the rod of a higher priesthood and i command every limitation be broken now Limitations be broken now. Limitations call for Totota. I sense the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Limitations be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Let the power of God break every limitation now. Hallelujah. He told Saul, he said, as you return, you will see three men holding bread, but two of them will give it to you. Does that mean they didn't want the bread for themselves? In the name that is above all names. The favor of God that can end the struggles in a man's life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. Please believe it. It's not by power. There is a realm of ease that comes by the favor of God. Therefore, in the name that is above all names, I prophesy, receive favor. Favor. Let the Esther anointing come upon you now. Favor with men. Favor with God. Favor with kings. Favor with destiny help us. In the name of Jesus.
every wine presser and baker that needs to speak to the king on your behalf in the name that is above all names we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now hallelujah whatever you have been trying to do and you don't you don't seem to make progress you keep going around circles of the same thing in the name that is above all names everything you have tried and failed go and do it again this time with the anointing in the name of jesus everything you have tried to do and you failed i provoke an anointing upon your life and with this anointing go back and do it again it's a master we have toiled all night but he said nevertheless at thy word i bring the word of the lord to your life now what did not work before let it begin to work now hallelujah i pray for every family going through pain and suffering and limitation and bondage every family represented here he said as for me and my house not as for me alone as for me and my house hallelujah in the name of jesus may the fire of god may the fire of the holy ghost bring advancement in every family represented here i command every family make progress move forward make progress move forward move forward hallelujah i speak over everyone here and every family anyone marked for death anyone marked for death oh earth i speak hear the word of the lord we forbid the earth from taking the body of anyone here you remain immortal until your assignment is complete you do not live by the sword therefore you will not die by the sword in the name of jesus you are separated from the wickedness and the harassment of terrorism you are separated from the pestilence and the plagues that cause men to be afraid in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ and for many who are students here mando kasike te pakatata rakato bosku prendiki tebalal in the name of jesus every yoke of academic bondage in the name that is above all names i command be free from it now 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 therefore i release upon you the spirit of excellence receive the spirit of excellence on common speed academic exploits in the name of jesus hallelujah for every ministry every business everything that is dead and grounded in the name that is above all names like the dry bones in the valley of ezekiel i command life to it now i command life now i command life now in the name of the lord jesus christ i command life now hallelujah everyone in ministry in this place i pray for you let the doors of opportunity be open up to you you were not designed to market yourself 
The Bible said, let her walk speak for her at the gates. I command everything stopping your walk from speaking for you. Let there be an anointing that announces you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every struggle in any area of ministry, we call it to end now. In the name of Jesus. And anyone who is in ministry and you are confused, you really don't know where you stand. You don't know the spiritual paradigm you should be representing. In the name that is above all names, let there be clarity. Absolute clarity. In the name of Jesus. Now lift up your hands. I want to pray for your finances. In the name that is above all names. First and foremost, I cause the spirit of greed that stops you from engaging the principles that will bring true wealth and abundance i command the giving grace to come upon you in the name of jesus i cause the spirit of greed let it be far from your life in the name of jesus grace for you to be a faithful tither grace for you to be a faithful giver grace for you to be a kingdom investor may god give you wisdom may god give you favor may god bless the works of your hands therefore i release a supernatural anointing for you to prosper receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus god gives you wisdom god gives you ideas in the name of jesus Hallelujah. Everyone here who is trusting God and is saying, Lord, restore. Everyone here who had a better yesterday that is saying, Lord, if there was a way I can turn the hands of time, I prophesy to you. There is a God that can turn the hands of time and cause men to experience restoration. Therefore, in the name that is above all names, we bring back into your life every opportunity that was once lost in the name of jesus opportunity for favor receive it opportunity for healthy connections every opportunity in your life that has been wasted by the favor and the mercy of god we call back that opportunity to return in the name of jesus christ we call it to return in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever has made you cry, in the name that is above all names, whatever has brought tears out of your eyes, because you were in a state where nothing and no one could help you, in the name that is above all names, may my God arise for you. And that everyone who has laughed at you and said, where is their God? In the name that is above all names, that God will arise for you. My God will arise for you. My God will arise for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray right now there are thousands of people miracles will be happening as I'm praying some of you is happening to your members at home father miracles will break out right now at the count of three, I just felt the anointing on me. One, two, prayer requests are being answered supernaturally. Job, 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 job. A job is coming. I see it. Marriage is coming. I see it. Admission, admission. Charm. Charm request. Wayek. Someone wants to get married before December. I see it. Financial breakthrough. 
Cancer for your mother. Cancer for your mother. Salvation of your family members. Mighty salvation. Some of them are in the beer parlor. The angel of the Lord is going after them. Father, you have made this place an altar of praise where you turn every weeping into mourning. This is no pretense, oh God. I speak right now. Let I every prayer I request so here. coming on my head. And for those streaming online, I change it to be testimonies now. Everybody stand. In the name of Jesus. Please, everybody stand. I speak to you. I speak to you. Prayer request. Believe in the Lord, and that and which is established will share the word. Believe in His prophets, become testimonies, and, shall and be delivered for God's people. In the name of Jesus, please lift your hands, everybody. Hallelujah! Give God thanks; it is done. Hallelujah! Please, as I speak. I want you to believe it. I want you to receive it. While I prayed, the Lord told me, if it does not happen, it's because you did not speak it. Things will change right now. As I speak, the angels of the Lord will begin to move to the areas that I'm speaking. All I need you to do is to shout a believing amen when you need to. Hallelujah. Every terminal disease represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now it leaves your life and your family forever receive it Infirmities are going. Infirmities are going. 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 Cancer go. Cancer go. HIV die. HIV die. SS change to AA. SS change to AA. AS change to AA. Every blood disease, go, go, go. Every blood disease, go now. Go now. Migraine headache, go now. Go now. Fibroid, go now. Go now. Peptic ulcer, be gone right now. Be gone right now. HIV, one and two, in any body or family. I command you, die now. Every infection in ladies and guys right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be healed now every eye problem be gone now deafness in the ears go now 
any of your family members who is bedridden whether for stroke i'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of jesus i command them to arise from that bed every plague of death over any family he said and when i see the blood i will pass i pray any devil that has said has said your family members will not see it i cast that devil in the name of jesus hallelujah any kind of delay in this place marital delay or any kind of delay at the count of three yokes and curses of delay because one two three go 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Any altar of darkness. Hear me. I don't care where it's coming from. That is speaking against your life or the well being of your family. Right now. That altar, wherever it is, it will catch fire now. Catch fire now. It will catch fire now. Shake it, it, it. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar. Shake it, it. Every altar. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar against any family. Catch fire now. Hallelujah. Listen. Whoever has been marked for disfavor, that they say things cannot work for you or your family members, I remove that embargo of disfavor now. 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 Hallelujah. Hear me. Whatever the devil has stolen from your family, whatever the devil has stolen in your life, I stand as a servant of God. This one is going to hit many people. There are many families that need restoration. I will shove restore at the count of three. We're hurrying up, we're out of time. Father, let the wind and the angel of restoration move across this place. One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I command restoration. I command restoration. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Restore. Restore. Hallelujah. Every yoke of academic failure, whether Wayek, whether Jam, some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now. I see fire. There are many of you, it's an embargo of darkness. You will feel like something jumping out of your head right now. I command yokes of academic failure. Believe them now. Believe them now. Believe them now. Second of the Believe them now. Believe them now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. Some of you have struggled, Jeremy. Some of you are Christians. 
but you have struggled with habits masturbation pornography it's not like you are bad you have been trying and trying to stop is eating your life whether for you or for your loved ones right now i pray that embargo of darkness sin shall not have dominion and i pray whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life leaves you now 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 anyone here looking for a job or your family members they've tried they've applied everywhere my bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the south nor the west i pray right now let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you may that anointing hit you now take it take it i command miracle jobs miracle jobs miracle jobs in the name of jesus those of us who are in business or your family members are in business i pray right now in the name that is above all names the bible says it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yield its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither whatever it do it prospers i pray right now i command every business here grow in the name of jesus grow in the name of jesus expand in the name of jesus increase in the name of jesus hallelujah now hear me whatever trouble is in your family some of you your families are at the brink of divorce some of you your father is not taking care of you i don't care family problems god is visiting them now every family problem because god marked this miracle service for families every problem satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads of people at the count of three be released one two three families be free families be released i command peace i command prosperity i command love every foul spirit responsible for the situation in families be lifted now in the name of jesus those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now wherever they are destiny help us i call you into the life of god's people wine pressers and bakers show forth come forth And he went to the tomb of Lazarus and Lazarus was dead four days and he called him forth right now whatever is dead in your life and your family I stand under this unction of God and I pray whatever is dead I command it right now let that which is dead hear the voice of the Lord come forth now come forth now Whatever is dead, come forth now. Hallelujah. I release breakthrough into your life. Receive it. All kinds of breakthroughs. All kinds of breakthroughs. You are well favored. I pray for your spiritual life. Some of you, your spiritual lives are zero. 
no word life no prayer life tonight let a fire that not even you can quench fire prayer fire word fire take it take it receive it in the name of jesus a hunger for the things of the spirit take it take it take it a hunger to study the word place to be obedient receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah hear me the bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god has anointed you with an oil of gladness and the bible says that oil puts you above your fellows i pray for you wherever you go from today let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you let it distinguish you out of the crowd let it distinguish you receive it in the name of jesus any member of your family that is not born again i pray by the permission of the spirit of god let the angels of god look for them and bring them into the faith now no matter how hardened they are we call them born again now we establish it every power that is not of god must let you and your family go tonight hallelujah Father, visit your people. 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 Now hear me. At the count of three. So pakataya. I see that sword again. I see that sword. Bring them out. I see that sword of the spirit. At the count of three, hear me. Inside and outside, there will be a convocation of the power of God. And every yoke of darkness must give way right now. Every spell and every enchantment. Man te la katosota is a blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance. Lift your hands at the count of three. I like us to shout that name that is above every other name. I invoke the power of the kingdom I represent and I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that everyone and every family under any spell bring them out ushers every spell of darkness in the name that is above all names i speak with an apostolic voice from the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus that every power every witchcraft that has kept god's people down you must go now at the count of three shout that name one two get ready now three now now i command those powers i command powers inside and outside in the overflow right now right now Marco Pocotos Embrekete Soto Prosketa in the name of Jesus I command judgment judgment every altar every yoke outside there are angels moving outside there are angels with mighty swords outside Soto to 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 Makata press Sopo seke Engratatata No power That ties your destiny 
will remain tonight. Embrekete, soto kota, mande brakata, ondekete brekete. Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. All those in the overflow, right to the second overflow at the back. Lift your hands. Lift your hands, everybody outside. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I want those outside to shout that name, Jesus. And there are people, I see chains, chains around people. At the count of three, those outside, the Holy Ghost is going to visit families. There is fire that will fall outside. Are you ready now, those outside? One, two, three. I see a pruning fork outside. I see a pruning fork outside. Lord, let no family, let no individual stand. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. I'm hearing in my spirit the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. The Lord is asking me to count four. One, two, three, four. Take it now. Let it be yours. Strength, wisdom. I'm seeing mantles falling. Mantles falling. Strength, wisdom. Coming from heaven. Strength, wisdom. Coming from heaven. Receive it right now. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody who used to have dreams. And everything you see will come to pass. But it stopped. Right now I'm seeing a grace for restoration. Coming upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. It's not a general prophecy. There are exact people. That this is happening to a restoration. A restoration. A restoration. A restoration. A restoration. Hallelujah. There is a grace. I feel like praying for students. There is a grace for academic excellence. Listen, it doesn't just happen. Believe me. It's not just about what you learn. There is a grace. There is a, an exact grace for this. Lord, I pray right now in the name that is above all names. I stretch my hands to your people. As many, oh God, as will please you. Let this baptism of this unction for extraordinary understanding, let it come upon them right now. At the count of three, receive it now. One, two, three. Take it now. Please help them. Receive that grace right now. It's coming upon you. Extraordinary intelligence. Capacity to assimilate. Capacity to understand. Capacity to understand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That fair lady that shared her testimony, lift your hands. I see an angel pouring something like fire on your head. Father, in the name of Jesus, let us step into a level of extraordinary intelligence. I don't know you, but I release that grace upon you. 
from today you a strange dimension of grace and intelligence in the name of Jesus receive it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit receive it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit by the power of the Holy Spirit there is a grace for entrepreneurship creativity witty inventions in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing at least 43 people right now in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands let it come on them oh God believe it let it come on them oh God let it come on them oh God in the name of Jesus let it come on them oh God in the name of Jesus let it come on them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands now. 43. I'm seeing a number 43. Strange ideas coming on your spirit now. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Receive it right now. I want to pray for those in ministry. There is always an unction for the next dimension. I don't know where you are. But you are going to begin to feel fire from your feet rising upwards that's the instruction god is giving me in the name of jesus lord i'm praying right now fresh fire fresh mantle let it begin to arise now you are in ministry in this place begin to receive it right now in the name of jesus receive it right now in the name of jesus receive it right now those in ministry help them Strange fire. I see strange fire rising from the feet. Rise on top from the feet. Rise on top from the feet. Please help them. In the name of Jesus. Can you carry the child so that he doesn't? In the name of Jesus. Strange fire. Revival fire. Supernatural unction. Supernatural unction, supernatural unction, supernatural unction. Hallelujah. The Lord is ministering to me about a group of people here that He wants to bring into intimacy with Him. There is a dimension of intimacy. It will surprise you. You will start finding out that you are going alone to go and sit in a place. The Holy Spirit wants to reintroduce Himself to certain people. Lord, where are they? Where are they? Find them. Find them tonight. Find rest in them. Where are these men and women? Where are these men and women that you want to introduce yourself to? Beyond church. Beyond church. Beyond church. Arado supra gadiza la curiata. Hallelujah. Ah! I'm seeing people here who will be burning for days like fire, literal physical fire that will not stop. You will go with it, you will wake up with it, it will continue. There is an energizing of the spirit that is happening to people. An energizing of the spirit happening to people. It's a fresh fire. It's a fresh fire. Hallelujah. If you came with anything that is a point of contact, whether a document, certificate whatever it is that is a point of contact whether you are inside or outside anything you can use I want you to lift it up so many things are happening to people in the realm of the spirit there's someone at the media stand the Lord is lifting that person to the next level. I'm seeing someone in a vision down at the media stand stepping up. 
let them enter oh god right now let them enter into that realm that dimension somebody at the media stand the lord is, is like an initiation into a dimension into a dimension hallelujah acts chapter 19 says handkerchiefs and aprons handkerchiefs and aprons i've explained to you the mystery behind these results no man can speak over your life and you just have results like that it, it doesn't happen that way i'm about to speak over your points of contact if you don't have anything you are the point of contact yourself are we together many of you will be surprised believe me believe me many of you will be surprised at the dramatic things that will happen we are talking about the holy spirit here we are not just talking about an anointed man we are talking about the holy spirit his anointing like a cloud comes to mantle certain aspects of your life and you see grace speaking for you grace speaking for you Lift it up, you can lift your hands. Ready to speak now. In the name that is above all names, I prophesy upon every point of contact you are using now. Let a a grace, the power of performance that makes things to work. I release it right now upon that instrument. I release it upon your documents. I release it upon your pictures. I release it upon your certificates. I release it upon your proposals. Hear me. Whatever you are agreeing for as a point of contact, I give life to it now in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit a dimension of results you have never seen begin to see it now I speak to every CGPA that is down here hear my voice I speak as one sent by the Lord I command you to arise now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ there are people who are supposed to graduate but as it is now it looks like they may not graduate I change it now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I decree and declare where your helpers have passed you and ignored you I put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you I put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you. Listen, everything that used to flow in your life and stopped mysteriously, I opened the door for it to continue. Everyone here in business, any kind of godly business, I stretch my hands enter a level of rest now believe what i'm praying for you i bring you into a dimension of rest now every troubled family here all kinds of troubles from lack of finances to trouble to fight to quarrel in the name of jesus i introduce an anointing to that family and I command let there be peace right now 
Let there be peace right now. Let there be peace right now. Let there be peace right now. Every troubled family, let there be peace right now. There are people here who need divine direction as a matter of urgency. I speak to you. Hear his voice and hear it clear. Hear his voice and hear it clear. Hear his voice and hear it clear. In the name of Jesus Christ. In dreams and visions may his will be made known to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every manifestation of the spirit of fear fear of the unknown fear of the future uncertainties around your life that is making you do foolish things i command right now fear go in the name of jesus 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 Every veil of disfavor that is around your life that makes things to work for others until it gets to your turn and then mysteriously when the breakthrough is almost coming you never see it I decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command that captivity to end now. I command that captivity to end now. Hear me? Everyone called jobless here. I stand in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I decree and declare, may your miracle job find you. Believe what you are hearing. May your miracle job find you. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for anyone here having any infirmity. I don't care what it is. I don't care how long. Any stranger in your body. A lady is going to shout now under the anointing. And then the power of God for healing will touch people. In the name of Jesus I command be healed now. Say amen. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Every blood disease be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Migraines be healed now. Every kind of abnormal condition in your body be healed now. Growths and lumps around the body, whether breast lumps, all kinds of lumps, I command that they disappear right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your family. In the name of Jesus. Between now and the next seven days. May you hear strange testimonies from home. Please believe me. I say it again. Between now and the next seven days. I stand in the name of the Lord God of heaven. And I command in the next seven days unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies it doesn't take time it takes his anointing everything that your hands have done and it did not work I stretch my hands to yours and I command from today become a proof producer I command today become a result producer become a result producer become a proof producer 
in the name of Jesus. Hear me. Every pending issue over your life, every pending issue, any kind of pending issue right now, issues that have been hanging in the realm of the spirit and will not be resolved. I decree and declare let an end come to those issues now let an end come to those issues now let an end come to those issues now every family here that has experienced delay as a family not an individual law shake it here there is unction upon me the hand of God is upon me in the name of Jesus I decree and declare the Lord is asking me to push families forward I push you forward now by the mystery of prophecy I push you forward now I push you forward now Damn in the name of Jesus Christ, whoever must show up in your life and lift you, and lift your mother, and lift your father, and wipe your tears, in the name of Jesus, I stand by the God of heaven whose I am, and I decree and declare that between now and the next two weeks, strange encounters, strange encounters, Strange encounters with the gift of men. Strange encounters. Strange encounters. Mysterious coincidences that will lead to your breakthrough. Everything that has died in your hands and in your life, hear the word of the Lord. I command it to come back to life now. I want to pray please drop your hands just the brothers lift your hands I want to release upon you grace for establishment listen if you are wise you will pay attention to what I'm saying there is a grace that establishes men are we together now establishment is where you gain stability in life financially are we together relationally spiritually purposefully there are many men many church brothers the reason why many people are not in relationships the reason why many people cannot move forward in their life is because the devil has taken this aspect out of their lives so you find a godly brother but you are 35 years you are still begging for money you are still living in your parents house it's a cause lift your hands in the name of Jesus I pray for every brother here the grace and the unction that turns weak men into great men the grace and the unction that establishes men financially ministerially career wise and in purpose at the count of three in the name of Jesus Christ whose I am and whom I serve I decree and declare, may that grace come upon you now. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Upon you, I command that grace. There is a gentleman outside. That grace is coming upon him in a mighty way. Take that grace right now. Brothers, receive it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. It is this grace that brings speed of establishment in your life. Help us come to support you to gain your footing in life. It's not just by growing old. There is a grace. You don't have to pay for everything by yourself. There is a grace that sends help us to your life, to your ministry. Establishment is a mystery in the spirit. You can have a thing, but when you are established, you are, you are well stabilized enough to now begin to be a blessing to others. 
there are many people who are experiencing finances here but they are not established you are established means you can bless others without being affected established in wisdom your mind is developed so that you no longer act like a child the Lord is ministering to me the Lord is ministering to me that he wants to take away barrenness 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 it doesn't just mean physical barrenness alone unproductivity is a cause is the cause of hardship the classic sign that a man is carrying that demonic thing is barrenness in the name of Jesus I command your desert to become a fruitful vine in the name of Jesus I command your fruitful vine to become a forest I say it again in the name of Jesus I command your desert to be a fruitful vine I command your desert to be a fruitful vine in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah in one minute I want you to ask the Lord for any one thing I'm releasing my faith with you just one thing lift your voice and pray I'm releasing my faith with you please pray one minute ask the Lord and watch it happen I release my faith with you in the name of Jesus I release my faith with you ask the Lord don't say it is impossible we are talking about the God of heaven here we are talking about the spirit of the living God what you see is the ministry of the spirit the ministry of the spirit ask what you will and it be granted unto you by the spirit of God are you praying just one thing change my life just one thing give me laughter just one thing answer my marriage just one thing give me a child just one thing settle me financially just one thing multiply your grace on my life hallelujah Whatever it is that you have asked the Lord, I release my faith with you and I call it your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release my faith with you and I call it your testimony. Listen, the Bible says, and whatsoever Adam called it, that was the name thereof. If it is called a testimony, then it becomes a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, no matter how impossible it is may the god of all flesh the god of jeshurun that rides upon the wings of the wind i pray that he will step into your life and give you dramatic testimonies in the name of jesus christ you will literally start feeling the presence of the holy spirit like a presence walking literally literally i mean what i'm saying literally walking like someone walking you enter a room some of you you will feel it as wind some of you you will see that shadow a similitude of his presence you will begin to have encounters not demonic encounters encounters with his presence you will be sleeping hear me you will be sleeping and you will feel a physical touch a man will wake you you will be alone in the room yet you will hear a voice clear and passive voice you will know that this is the spirit of God leading you in the name of Jesus I activate that dimension begin to walk in the impulses of the spirit the voice of the spirit the touch of the spirit the feelings of the spirit I program your spirit man to understand the impulses of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ yes he will come to you he will come to you he will open your bible when you are sleeping you will wake up and see your bible open he will write notes and leave it physical notes on papers you will see it happen 
he will pray and he will come to your room like Benny Hinn, it will be good morning Holy Spirit you will have similitudes of encounters with him you will sleep in the night and your whole night will be full of visions 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 encounters visions encounters visions hear me men will come and sit on your bed and start shaking under the anointing because something a deposit of eternity has followed you they will wear your clothes and the mantle will catch up with them they will wear your shoes they will eat in your plates and you will carry strange fire in the name of jesus you will hear men call you and confess and tell you i'm sorry i'm the one who stole your laptop i'm sorry i'm the one who took this from you i'm sorry because of the presence of god listen by this new dimension of encounter i command that you become untouchable untouchable by witches and wizards untouchable by accidents untouchable by bomb blasts untouchable by armed robbers in the name of jesus hear me quarter to shame your senior partner will arise for you no longer will people say where is your god your life will be an answer to that prophecy in the name of jesus christ listen there are some of you here what has happened to you tonight it will last for a long time the word of god the bible will open to you in a fresh way a way that you have never seen it a dimension that you have never seen Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media. As I speak over you, I want you to shake away that lie that the devil has told you you will never rise. I want you to shake away that demonic belief. Just because you came from the village, shake away that demonic belief. Apostle, I've lived a wayward life, I've lived a scattered life. Do not worry. In his presence, there is room for restoration. But I want to pray for you. I want you to receive from the depth of your heart. I stretch my hands towards you and I decree and declare. I call upon the God who helps men. The one who helps men to rise. The one who helps men to thrive. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to command strange results from tonight. Begin to command strange results from tonight. Strange results from tonight. Extraordinary results from tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your passion for the things of God. Your passion for the things of the spirit. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. Now hear me. I want you to receive this prayer. I want to pray for you. There are many of you. I'm saying it prophetically. Between now and December. You will stand here to dedicate your own home. I say it by the God who sent me. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for some of you as it is now. You may not even have work to do. But you see. God is ever willing to make his power manifest. I say it again. By his favor. May God start sorting your personal needs. Please hear me. For some of you, while I described the human body, I perhaps call systems that are physically failing in your own body. While it was an analogy to explain the kingdom systems for victory, for some of you, you were just wondering and saying, Apostle is just calling this thing. 
anything that has entered your body and has vowed to cut short your life, I command it must jump out of your body now. It must jump out of your body now. It must jump out of your systems, out of your organs, now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to speak over your finances. If you don't need it, you can receive it for someone else. But I want to pray over your finances. There is an advantage we have in addition to our value, our wisdom, relationships. There is the grace of God that engenders favor. You find that in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8. I like how the Bible puts it. It says, and God is able to make all grace, not some grace, all grace are bound towards you that ye always having all sufficiency. Sufficiency means the capacity to always rise to the occasion, never disappointing. In all things, it says, may abound to every good work. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, for someone here, regardless the financial mountains that stand before you, I call upon my God who is also your God. Let things begin to change supernaturally. Open financial doors. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. He says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I decree and declare, whatever makes resources to go out of your hands, whether it's the careless use of them or a demonic manipulation, whatever be the case, I decree and declare, the grace to retain resources, receive it now. Are you ready for favor? I will pray this one today. I will pray it at the miracle service next week. I will continue to pray it till you become a living expression of the favor of God. Let me pray it for you. What is in favor? Huh. Favor has the ability to accelerate your life and your destiny. Favor has the supernatural ability to bring to end seasons of hardship seasons of all kinds of things most people have not understood the all surpassing excellency of carrying the genuine grace for favor and i have told you the proof of favor is not money money is the least thing you can be given as a result of favor the proof of favor is when god connects you to the hearts of men that you call on one man and a nation is ready to respond to you and even to attend to your needs. I don't know who that person is, but I'm stretching my hands towards you. That grace, I lay my hands on my own head and I pray by the privilege of the election of grace, may that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. Rest upon you. Rest upon you. This grace called favor. Let it rest upon you. Let it rest upon you. In the city. In the country. Let it rest upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. That you become a living evidence. Of what God can do with men. In the name of Jesus Christ. And by this impartation of favor. I call forth whoever has been mandated by God to participate in your rising. Whether you know them or not, I declare this week, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may they show up in your life. May they show up in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Final prayer. Whatever has refused to move forward, you have moved it by your energy, you have moved it intellectually, you have outsourced men to move it, but it has refused to move. I stand by the, the, the advantage of the prophetic. 
I move you forward. I move you forward. Make constructive progress in the name of Jesus Christ. For in Jesus' name we pray. You have believed it. Your eyes will see it. Your hands will handle it. I say it again. Your eyes will see it. And your hands will handle it. This prayer you are about to pray. Many miracles are going to come out of it. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare. That this body. Is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Therefore. Every sickness and infirmity in this body programmed to waste my life, I command, depart now. Open your mouth and pray. Depart. Fibroids. Depart. High blood pressure. Depart. Cancer. Depart. Someone pray. Tumors. Growths. Depart. Belakatosh Kadila Pariata. Blood conditions. Depart. Shagada Bagata Bagatos Kabe. Embrata Kabaruso Sega de Balapus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare. From today. That I have a covenant. Of longevity. My body. Will never separate. From my spirit. Until my time is done. Every premature separation. Either by accident. By sickness. By the activity of wicked people, I cause it right now. Go ahead and pray. No premature separation coming in the form of accidents. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Please don't be distracted. Jeremiah 22, 29. Please give it to us quickly. Jeremiah 22, verse 29. It says, O earth, 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 hear ye. O earth, earth, earth. It says, hear ye the word of the Lord. The earth is a universal point of contact. The Bible says, as for the earth, out of it comes bread. It says, the profit of the earth is for all. And even the king is fed by that which comes from the earth. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus, my portion given to me by God, I decree and declare. Through the ministry of man, let it gravitate towards my destiny. Open your mouth and pray. God is a God of portions. God is a God of portions. Pray. God is a God of portions. Hallelujah.
say in the name of Jesus, every negative inheritance that has been transferred to me by those who were before me, I decree and declare by the blood of the Lamb, I reject it right now. I reject it. Go ahead and pray. Every negative inheritance, inheritance that has come as untimely death, negative things, closed doors, I reject it. Someone pray. I reject it. I reject it. I reject it. In the name of Jesus, I reject it. Abagada Maragos, Abrakatos Kadeva Lakatash. Bible says, First Chronicles 4 verse 9, it says, and Jabez, listen carefully, was more honorable than his brethren. It's interesting that in expressing this story, the Bible starts from the end to the beginning. It tells us the end, that regardless what you are about to hear, the long and short of it, is that in the end of everything, Jabez was more honorable than his brethren then the story begins it says his mother called his name Jabez saying because I bear him in sorrow are we together verse 10 I like this and Jabez called upon the God of Israel Jabez called upon the God of Israel saying oh that thou wouldest bless me indeed Enlarge my coast that thy hand may be with me and that thou wouldest keep me from evil that it may not grieve me and God granted him that request now listen very carefully the Bible talks about a very interesting gentleman called Jabez that at the end of the story Jabez became more honorable honorable than his brethren but that was not always his case the Bible says this man's predicament started right from birth. It was not like it was something that happened at a point in his life. The word Jabez means from the Hebrew, the Hebrew expression. It means to make sorrowful. He causes pain. That is the meaning of Jabez. This baby was not responsible for the mother's pain was even unaware but simply because a woman went through pain in childbirth out of her anger and pain she named the child Jabez and you would think that it was just an identity given to him maybe a name a means of identification but it placed a mark of limitation upon the life of Jabez when Jabez grew up he found out that certain possibilities were not captured in his life he found out that his life was marred with a plethora of limitations. And one day, Jabez made up his mind that things would have to change. May tonight be your one day. The day you get angry and say, things cannot continue this way. Are we together now? And the Bible says, Jabez called on the God of Israel. And said four things. Number one, 
Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Listen carefully. Why did Jab that was the first prayer in in desiring to get out of that life of sorrow and pain and mediocrity and defeat? Jabez's first prayer point was not God give me. His first prayer point was that thou wouldest bless me. That means he knew that it was the absence of the blessing upon his life. Something about the speakings of his mother over his life did not allow that climate of the blessing to be at work in him. Pay attention please. In Genesis chapter 12 from verse 2 and 3, God calls Abraham an idol worshipper who was from Ur of the Chaldeans. And then the Bible tells us in verse 2, we're reading 2 and 3, Genesis 12. I will make of thee a great nation. I will bless thee and make thy name great. Hallelujah. When your name becomes great, that is honor. Thou shalt be a blessing. Verse 3. It says, I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. In Genesis 25, for the sake of time, give us verse 5 and 6. I found this scripture many years ago and it changed my life. This was Abraham. Hallelujah. Listen carefully now. Verse 5. The Bible says, Abraham gave all that he had to Isaac. What did he give Isaac? All that he had. And we never see any material possession given to him. There was nothing physical that Isaac collected. Yet the Bible says Abraham gave him everything. Verse 6. But to the sons of the concubines which Abraham had, he gave what did he give? Gifts. Hmm. He gave gifts and sent them away from Isaac. There was something while he was giving physical gifts. I'm sure Isaac felt bad and said, what is he need for me? And he said, son, you don't worry. There's something I want to give you. All of these things came because of what I'm about to give you. And he gave Isaac what we call the blessing. No physical substance. But then the Bible now tells us that because of what Isaac carried, he sowed in that same land. Genesis 26. Are we together now? From verse 12. And the Bible says, 26 and verse 12, that he sowed in that land and that he received that same year. He did not receive just because the soil was good. He received because what made Abraham was what was given to him. Help that man please. He sowed in that land and received in the same year an hundredfold and the Lord blessed him. 13. Verse 13. He says, and the Lord blessed him. And the man works great. Another version says he began to prosper. That means there was a day he did not prosper. He works great and did what? Prophesy. This is a prophetic word for you. And the man works great. And house of treasures went forward and grew until it became very great. Hallelujah. So Jabez prayed and said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. I know what happens to a man who carries and embodies the blessing of God. Now, there's what the Bible calls the blessing of Abraham. That is justification by faith. There is what the Bible calls the blessing. Then there is what the Bible calls blessings. They are not the same. The blessing of Abraham is justification by faith. That ushers you to receive the blessing. The blessing is a dimension of the operation of the Holy Spirit that comes upon an individual through the ministry of the spoken word and activates a climate of possibilities around your life, compelling your life to be a reflection of the Garden of Eden. The blessing. The blessing has an assignment to insist until everything changes in your life and to look like heaven. Are we together? I'm, I'm showing you because this is a miracle service. Not everyone is sick. Not everyone is oppressed. But my goodness, everyone needs to go forward. 
all that thou wouldest bless me to bless means to empower empower with a factor that does not reside within that territory to be empowered from above that empowerment is what compels you to prosper the word prosper means to do well it means to excel it means to surpass ordinary standards four prayer points Jabez prayed prayer point number one oh that thou wouldest bless me Isaiah 65 and verse 8 the blessing provides a very mysterious immunity listen carefully the blessing in the character of the blessing among the many things that it provides the blessing provides immunity against the vicissitudes of life he said thus saith the lord as the new wine is found in the cluster and one saith destroy it not why for a blessing is in it destroy it not for a blessing is in it curse it not for a blessing is in it deplete it not for there is a blessing in it the character of the blessing is that it insists that there is no depletion in your life you have to believe this because this is what is coming upon you Jabez prayed and said oh that thou wouldest bless me prayer point number two he says enlarge my coast the word coast there means border enlarge my coast Psalm 71 and verse 21 three years ago during my birthday the Lord gave me this as a prophetic word and it shifted my life to another dimension 71 21 thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side it is one thing to be great but it is another thing for your greatness to be increased being great alone is noble but even among the great there are those with increased greatness it says thou shall increase my greatness are you understanding the implication of Jabez's prayer remember four things he prayed to become more honorable than his brethren so don't just say God just uh -uh, we need to know what and what and what and what did God add to his life that turned him into a man more honorable than his brethren number one was he prayed that the blessing would rest upon him number two he prayed for enlargement so there is a grace that causes an individual to not be small that when that grace comes upon you five loaf and two fish can expand and feed five thousand enlarge my coast someone prophesied enlarge my coast oh enlarge my coast spiritually there are dimensions i need to step into enlarge my ministry man of god enlarge my business enlarge my influence Oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast. Enlarge my coast. Enlarge my coast. Prayer point number three. That your hand, we're still looking at First Chronicles 4. That your hand will be upon me. Do you know the meaning of that? Your hand will be upon me. The right hand of God is power. Every time a man prays that the hand of God comes upon him, he's talking about the strengthening of God, the ability of God. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 13 says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. The word Christ is the Greek word Christos. Number one, it means the anointed one. But number two, it also means the anointing that he brings. I can do all things. It is not by my power. The Bible says it was the Lord that caused Moses and Aaron to advance. They did not just advance. They were influenced by a force to go forward. Prayer point number three. Now, you need to know the man praying this prayer. This guy praying this prayer was a man with nothing noble around his life. A man who was an, an, an embodiment and an epitome of every kind of disadvantage you can think about. And the man said, I, I know that there is something I can do with God and find my way out. Number one, 
that thou wouldest bless me. Number two, enlarge my coast. Number three, let your hand be upon me. In Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20, Paul was mentoring the church in Ephesus. And he says, now unto him, hallelujah, now unto him that is able, ex, is, where's the scripture? Unto him that is able to do. There are people who are able to say, but they are not able to do. Listen, Bible faith is predicated on two qualities of God. Bible faith is founded on two qualities of God. Number one, his integrity. God is not a man that he should lie. He became a man, but he is not a man. Are we together now? Yes. That means when God says it, he means it. That is integrity. If God were not a God of integrity, it would be dangerous for us to trust him. Are we together now? But the second quality upon which Bible faith is built upon is called his ability. There are people who have integrity. They just do not have the wherewithal. Are we together? So the Bible here says God does not just have integrity. He is able. He is able. There are people who are able to say, I promise that if God opens a door, I will help you. They, they mean to help you, except that they are incapacitated. That means before God speaks, he vets whether it is within his power to bring it to pass. Anything God says is because his power can sponsor it. So if he says, I will lift you, it means within that word is the power to insist that you do not remain down. You understand the scripture now? It says, God now unto him, the him being the God of heaven, who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. What kind of God is this? Do you know how powerful the imagination is? The imagination of man scientifically and spiritually is infinite in conceiving possibilities. This is where both science and religion agree that there is no limit to how much a man can stretch his imagination. It was Genesis 11 when Nimrod, Nimrod Kush mobilized the people and they came to build a city whose top will reach the heavens. And the Bible says the people is one and this they begin to do and now nothing will stop them which they have imagined to do. And yet the Lord is saying, I dare your imagination. Let it stretch to its limit. It is still within the jurisdiction of my power. That's your hand. The Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. The hand of the Lord is the factor that is responsible for speed. Listen, there are two ways God restores time. Listen carefully. There are two ways God restores time. Or God redeems time. Number one is restoration. What is restoration? Restoration means to bring to your current experience that which you lost. Then another way he redeems time is to give you speed. Speed is dominion over time. So that your results no longer work based on the sequence or process. You have an advantage over time. Are we together now? Is someone learning now? Restoration. Let me have two people. I want to use you for to just make an example two well dressed gentlemen make sure you are well dressed come now both of you stand here facing this side well this man is already we already have two people God bless you eh? what do we do with two of you now yeah. <laughs> alright so watch this let's assume these guys were born on the same day now you pay attention because you are going to walk slowly are we together Born on the same day with the same kind of experience in South Africa. Start walking slowly. Start walking slowly. Keep moving. What is happening to this man? It's called delay. Don't rush. Just keep walking. So, hold on where you are. Now, this guy is supposed to have been here. But something has stopped him. Hold on now. Now, time did not stop for him. Time kept moving. He's the only one who stopped. Are we together now? Watch this. You just turn, watch this. Now, when I, no, 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 don't move, sir. Just stay where you are. Right? Just turn and face those ladies. Now, if I say move, just move as slow as you can. Watch this. Even if the obstacle were taken away, now all of you move, including you. He still has not gained time. This is progress, not restoration. 
Stop where you are. Let me tell you what restoration is. When God says, I will restore. Watch this. Now, I hope you know that time has gone. He will never ordinarily be able to gain time. This is what God does. And I will restore the years. That means when you look at the equation of this man's life, you will never find where that gap was created. What happened? I know that 10 years of your life you did not have a job. So if you had a job now, you shouldn't be a millionaire by a job in one year. But when God restores, this is what is happening to someone tonight. Because for someone, you are like Jabez. Come back gentlemen, very quickly come. There are families in South Africa. There are businesses in South Africa. You started. Let's go. Let's go. And demonic forces stopped you. Keep moving. Keep moving. Ten years. Some of you five years. Now even if you move is progress. You don't have all the time. My God will lift you. My God will lift you. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. When he says, I will restore, it's more than moving you forward. I will do something to time. I can take 10 years and put it in one year. There are people by December, you will look at your life. And it will look as though you started 20 years ago. What happened to you? By December, a new level of the anointing. A new level of influence and increase. Do you believe this? My God is able to do just what he says. He will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Here's the word tonight. Don't give up on God. There's no plan B. Come on, South Africa. He's a oh, 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 oh. He's able. Say. Hallelujah. Ah. My spirit is fired up this night. For someone, I don't care what family you came from. Hallelujah. Like Jabez, they may have concluded about you. But in the name of Jesus, while others are walking, you will be running. While others are running, you will be flying. Even by the Spirit of God. Yes, sir. Listen. It was by this principle that some of us came on board. If it were based on our background, if it was based on the vetting of men, we will still be far behind. But there is a God that gives speed. He can move you by the hand of the Spirit. Ah, someone move forward, move forward prophetically. Speed, speed. No, 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 no. I'm not saying come here. I'm just saying... I reject that nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Please return to your seat. This is what is already happening to you. You need to be able to defend your results with knowledge. When people ask you how come you have accelerated so far. It is the grace of God, but that dimension of grace is called speed. Speed. Hallelujah. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. What do you do? You're a man of God with a church? You're still learning. It's good that you are patient. How about you? 
have a church, you love Jesus? Because yes. you need to ask any man, including a pastor, whether you love Jesus. That's what I care about first. Not are you doing ministry? Do you love Jesus? Hallelujah. Thank you so much. I pray for you. May God grant you grace. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you will go from glory. Oh dear. Please. In the name of Jesus, let it be a new season for you. And a new season for you. In Jesus name. Where's the other man who I used? Just to speak a word over his life. There were three. Where are you come? What do you do? What do you do, sir? You're a businessman and a pastor. You believe in increase? New levels? Grace for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, let's, let's hurry up because this place is about to be set on fire. Ah, Apostle Felix, your church is about to be set on fire. That your hand will be upon me. When the hand of God came upon Elijah, the Bible says he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab, even down to Israel. The strength of God. When the hand of the Lord came upon Samson, he used a the jawbone of a donkey and defeated 3,000 Philistines. There is no limit to what can happen when the hand of God is upon you. Prayer point number four. This is very important because you see, listen carefully, the prayer of Jabez now. When the blessing is upon you, listen carefully. And when your tent is enlarged, when the hand of God now comes upon you, it is natural for attacks. It is natural for envy. It is natural for jealousy. It is natural for people to pray and bite their fingers and hope that something wrong happens to you. Jabez was wise. I don't know who mentored him, but kudos to that person. Because Jabez prayed the last prayer point. He says, and that thou wouldest get it may not grieve me. When you read Amplified, it says, keep me from evil so that it would not have the power to hurt me. He's not talking about the coming of evil. He's talking about the dominion of evil over him. Because there are people who have risen. They once rose and then went down. It is tragic to once be on top. It is tragic to once be great. It is tragic to once be anointed. Your life can be an inspiration or a warning. That people can use your life and say, beware. This man of God was once up. This businessman was once up. This family was once up. No. I reject Ichabod from your life. Yeah. Hear me? Many years ago when we started with God respectfully with any sense of sarcasm. There were people who did not patiently wait to understand How to master dominion over evil and the onslaught of darkness they just began to run and the devil allowed them to go so high and today they are nowhere to be found in ministry and in business Jabez was wise it is dangerous to end your prayer without the prayer point Jesus how to pray he said lead us not into temptation there are certain temptations that are not your business if you are poor let me be honest with you are we together now it takes resources capacity influence and exposure to go through certain temptations if you're a poor man even if you look at a lady chances are your situation has already shielded you from any possibility that there's nothing i mean that, that the reality of where you are you won't embarrass yourself further you will just wish and hope and ask God for forgiveness there. But when you have capacity, hmm, yes, sir. When you have capacity, there are many people whose lives were all right until the blessing spoke. They didn't have the stamina to manage the temptations that come at certain realms. By the time you are a businessman at a global scale, 
you will have to be connected by people who do not share your spiritual convictions and yet you need them together to work within the marketplace it takes this the answer to this prayer to keep you otherwise the bible talks about solomon a man who saw the manifested presence of god twice in his life he got to a point theology tells us that he wrote the book of ecclesiastes as a fallen man he said everything my eyes saw i desired what a man and the bible says the egyptian women made him do so that means it was not a training that he got from his father but influence gave him capacity to talk with other people there are people who started well with god but by the time you join all kinds of fraternities and groups across the globe one day someone will tell you listen there is a way we do certain things and we have our results to show don't say it will not happen to me just shout mercy and ask god for grace because many many people made noise like that and today they are nowhere to be found as a man of god i understand your fasting and prayer because you are trusting god for open doors the territory has not accepted you and has not been open to your grace. So it is easy to be motivated by the reality of your pain to fast and pray. But what happens when you are enlarged? Listen carefully. Now you will respect Jabez for his prayer point. In Deuteronomy chapter 18, please give us from verse 13. It's a caution there because these were a people who were blessed were establishing the fourth point and then will pray. Deuteronomy chapter 8, my apologies, 8 from verse 13. Deuteronomy 8 from verse 13. 8. It says, when thy heart, in fact, it's verse 12 is where the emphasis starts. He said, beware. He's giving them a word of caution now. Lest when thou art eaten and you are full. Remember when the 5,000 minus women were hungry, they listened to Jesus. He said, sit down, they sat down. But when they ate bread, they wasted 12 baskets worth and woke up. No saying thank you. And they walked away. There is something about the human spirit when you are in the presence of abundance. There is something about the human spirit when you have options. It takes this prayer, lead us not into temptation. You're my hiding place, my safe refuge, my treasure, Lord, you are my friend and king, anointed one, most holy. I will exalt you. I will exalt you. I will exalt you. You are my God. That you will keep me from evil. When you are eaten and a fool, listen, South Africa, and you have built goodly houses and dwelt therein. We're reading to 18 very quickly. When your herds and your flocks multiply, when your silver and your gold is multiplied and all that you have is multiplied then your heart be lifted up this thing does not happen because you are bad this thing happens because you are human there are things that is not about good or bad it is the side effect of carrying a mortal body there has to be an immunity that you build through prayer intelligent prayer preserve my heart you know i watch people with shock and wonder in ministry in business people who have not done much sincerely speaking with every sense of humility and i am surprised at the level of pride you know your 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 precious man of god and many other people say this man is humble humility for me is not a personality it's a revelation there is something god taught me that kept me in that state I taught you yesterday that the anointing only fights what is against the will of God. But my Bible says God resisted the proud. So when God is fighting you, which anointing are you going to use to fight him? Do you cast him away? Do you rebuke him? Do you correct him? Ah, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hand of the Lord. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will 
Who can stand against our King? No one can. You want God to stand against the devil and the cohorts of darkness, not you. The Bible is full of people God anointed and still rejected. It was the same God that anointed Saul through Samuel. But he, he got to a point where Samuel, oh dear, it would have been, I mean Saul, it would have been thou son of Saul, have mercy on me. But Saul lost it. And even though Samuel cried, he said, how long shall you weep, seeing that I have rejected Saul as king? Hallelujah. That your heart be lifted up, and thou forget the Lord thy God, which brought us thee thou from the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. I'm, I'm, this is a warning that God is giving. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, hear me, Everything that has tied you that came from your physical paternity, limitations that came from your biological father, biological mother, or your physical territory, I stand by the honor and the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic. I break you from it now. Help them, please. I break you from it now. I break you from it now. I break you from it now. Every spirit that makes easy things difficult. You saw this with your father. You saw this with your mother. You saw this with your siblings. Sincerely. You have not been able to break through. In the name of Jesus, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. And I declare in the name of Jesus, I push you to the next season of destiny. Help that man please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Everything that has covered your glory so that you are covered nothing about you can be seen by the power that raised Christ from the dead I tear that veil right now hear me where your physical father cursed you I stand by priesthood to bless you Anyone by your physical descent who said it will not be well with you, I stand by the privilege of the apostolic call. I reverse that statement. 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 Anyone who said it will not be well with you. In the name of Jesus, by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic, I veto that statement and I cancel it. Please pay attention, don't be distracted. The spirit that insists that you must remain poor and beggarly in spite of your hard work, in spite of educational qualification, or you rise up and then you go down. Some of you see good things, but you never lay hold of it. In the name of Jesus and by the power of the prophetic, I decree and declare between now and the next three months, step into prepared blessings. 90 days, if I be a servant of God, I stand by this apostolic mantle. In the next three months, step into prepared blessings. Jobs you did not apply for. Houses you did not build. I speak this by the God who called me. Hear me. Every inherited battle 
They fought your father to his grave. They fought your mother to his grave. Now they will not give you peace. I Help them please. In the name of Jesus. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means. Always and by all means. Inherited financial battles. Inherited family battles. Inherited career battles. They come to an end now. <laughs>